I put on the map here the 10 uh, venues. This is going to be the 10th conference, 10th EDUCON conference next year. Um, the uh, dates are set. And uh, that is going to be 8th to 11th April 2019. So please mark your calendars uh, from now. Uh, the conference will be hosted at the American University in Dubai, which is uh, on the, on the uh, south side of Dubai. It's part of a recently uh, or a, a relatively recent development uh, or developed area in, in, in Dubai. I'm going to talk about this a little bit to give you perspective of where the conference is going to be. Uh, for those of know, you who don't know where Dubai is located, Dubai is located on the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, maybe some of you went to Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is uh, about an hour away from Dubai. Uh, and uh, my colleague uh, Hassan Barada here was the host for the 2016 uh, EDUCON. In 2016. terms of accessibility, uh, we have flights, direct flights from Dubai to almost uh, every part of the world that, that is covered through this conference, except uh, Tenerife here, except the, the Canary Islands, so there, there are no direct flights yet, uh, but there is direct flight to Madrid, um, and it's relatively easy to get uh, to, the, uh, to Dubai. It, it, uh, probably the longest flight uh, is to South America, and that's, that's a 15-hour flight. Um, you'll get to experience a, a, a rich cultural uh, uh, environment. We're going to have uh, some cultural uh, program that goes along with the uh, with the conference. Uh, Dubai is a very vibrant uh, community. The conference is going to be in April, and at that time you might be able to ski in the indoors uh, ski uh, uh, slope in the Mall of the Emirates, which is about 10 minutes away by less than this, probably five minutes by metro from the venue of the conference, from the university. Um, the infrastructure in Dubai is, is, is relatively strong. The roads were uh, uh, rated as the best roads in the world, but we pride uh, ourselves in having a metro system that is uh, uh, the longest driverless metro system in the world, and we do have uh, close access to that to this uh, infrastructure network. And as I said, there are several airlines. There are two local airlines, Emirates and Fly Dubai, that have direct flights uh, to Dubai. Those who are uh, visiting from Eastern Europe. Uh, are probably gonna uh, gonna find it easy to uh, find flights on on Fly Dubai. There are a lot of flights to Eastern Europe from uh, from and to, uh, to uh, Dubai. Uh, there is a wide hotel variety. Uh, even though we're not hosting the conference at a hotel, but you have the five star and the seven star hotels. Then you have the more affordable two three star hotels and and the mid range. And we're gonna put all this information online. As I said, the venue is the American University in Dubai. Uh, our university is predominantly undergraduate, and this is what we pride ourselves in, in uh, uh, promoting and in, in excelling in. It's undergraduate education. Uh, the university was uh, ranked uh, amongst the uh, uh, 20, 25 top universities in the Middle East region by uh, QS. It was ranked uh, by Times Higher Education as uh, one of the 150 universities worldwide, uh, probably the only university in the region that produces employment-ready uh, graduates. Uh, we have a nice campus. I know that some people here have visited our campus. And uh, uh, we have an auditorium that, that can accommodate uh, up to 900 people. 
So we can accommodate if, if registration uh, spikes next year, we should be able to accommodate that and we have uh, rooms for, for parallel sessions as well. Uh, the university, in terms of accessibility, is uh, located, as I said, we're right next to a metro station. The metro station actually is in the parking lot of the university. So it's relatively easy to, to take the metro and, and travel around Dubai. Location-wise, uh, as I said, it's a newly developed area in Dubai. Those of you who have been there might uh, know or recall the Dubai Marina is uh, where, where we are between Dubai Marina and Dubai Media City. Uh, and uh, the, the first uh, picture here uh, that, that I showed uh, is uh, from, the, uh, from a park that's just adjacent to the university. Um, uh, as I said, there is a, uh, 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 we, we will have uh, tours, post pre and post conference tours uh, that include uh, a cultural tours as well as uh, technical tours, uh, possibly to Burj Khalifa. Uh, a few years ago, we hosted a conference and then we had a technical tour, uh, kind of behind the scenes as to what happened uh, in there. And there's a lot of engineering that goes on in there every day management from waste management. You can imagine if you have that many uh, 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 units or apartments and, and hotels and the, the, uh, the waste management by itself is, is an engineering challenge. And we'll have companion programs as well. Uh, and there are a lot of attractions in Dubai that, that we, can, we can keep the, uh, the spouses and the companions entertained. Um, the Conference website is going to be the regular Educon conference website. So probably around May, uh, I'll be coordinating with, with our friend Michael Auer here regarding the website. Around early May or mid-May, we will have the uh, direct link uh, or the default link to the website of the Educon conferences redirect uh, to the 2019 conference. As usual, the proceedings are going to be submitted uh, to IEEE Explore uh, for uh, archiving and, and publication. And uh, we're confident that, as usual, they will be uh, accepted. It is an IEEE conference anyway. And uh, something that we're planning on having next year is uh, a focus on student activi activities. Uh, we will have uh, an intergenerational panel that will include uh, people from different generations. Several of the, of the talks here uh, touched on the issue of how the new generation learns and how do they uh, collect information and, and internalize the information. And we're going to have uh, a number of students from the university and from other universities around the country as well, around the United Arab Emirates, that will participate in the conference. So it'll be a great interaction between uh, uh, professionals and professors and, and the students. In terms of uh, timeline, we will be uh, uh, announcing the call for abstract uh, and special sessions in early May as soon as the website launches. So you will get notification regarding this. Uh, the deadline to submit the abstracts is going to be around the end of August. And these dates are not uh, set in stone yet, but that's uh, typically how, how it's, uh, uh, it, it goes with, uh, with our conferences. Uh, the invitation to submit the full papers upon the review of the abstracts is going to be uh, around late September. Uh, deadline to submit the full papers and the panel and workshop proposals, additional workshop and panel proposals, is going to be in uh, early November. Notification of acceptance of the proposals uh, in the panels, as well as the full papers, is going to be in late December. Uh, the uh, author registration and payment, is, the deadline is going to be for early registration is going to be in January uh, 2019. The camera ready submissions is going to be around February. And of course, the conference will take place, as I said, April 8th to 11th, uh, 2019. Um, uh, the theme of the conference, as I indicated earlier, is centered around uh, engineering education through 
student engagement. And so you may want to encourage students at your university. We're going to have discounted rates for students to attend the conference. And we'll encourage you to uh, promote the conference amongst your students as well. And uh, with that, I conclude my presentation regarding next year. We look forward to seeing you in Dubai. Thank you.